Right. Hello, welcome to today's video. I imagine this is going to be a very short little one, but it's time to do it. It's time to do it. I haven't done an unhaul since December, and it's now the very end of April that I'm recording this, and it's time for an unhaul. We need to get rid of some books. I'm just going to go through them and tell you why I'm getting rid of them. There's some books that aren't read in this pile, there's some books that I have read, there's some books that I've DNF'd, there's some books that have just got low ratings, there's a variety, there's not that many actually, I should probably count them. How many books are we getting rid of today? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm getting rid of 11 books. I was going to organise them into piles of like why I'm getting rid of them, but to be honest there's so few that it just didn't seem worth it, especially as some are like a mixture of reasons. So I've put them in a pile in just like the order I've decided to get rid of them basically. So let's get into it. I have got my reading journal in front of me because any that I've DNF'd I've wrote down why in the back and I have quickly reread them and I don't believe there's any spoilers so I will be using this to tell you why I'm not interested in them. But yeah let's get into the books. First book is Witch by Rebecca Tamas. Unfortunately this one just did not work for me. I actually DNF this one of the very last days of last year. I think it was literally like the 30th, the 31st of December, something like that. And I just realised I was not going to read it. I really struggled through it. I am still new to poetry. And to be honest, I just could not wrap my head around this. I could not understand what was going on. I don't know enough about poetry to be like, this is bad. I don't think it is bad. Like the concepts were interesting. Personally, where I'm at, where my brain can go with poetry, this was just too much for me. So unfortunately it's what I have to get rid of and I am very upset about it to be honest because I do really love this cover. I think it's absolutely stunning but oh well, we'll, uh, we'll be getting rid of this one unfortunately. Then the next book I decided I was not going to keep is So Late in the Day. This is actually the second book that I've read this year. So on I think on January 1st, maybe January 2nd, I read this and it was not for me, unfortunately. The story was about a miserable man. Um, there was something about him that I found very obvious from like pretty much as soon as we meet him. But apparently it's a big reveal because it gets revealed very towards the end, like this word is actually used for him. So I won't say what it is, but um, yeah, it was dull. It was boring. It wasn't an interesting insight. It's nothing I care to read. And I'm, yeah, I just didn't care. I haven't liked many like slice of life books. I knew that going into this, but I thought because it was so short, like the slice of life aspect of it, like it would literally be a slice of life, like not 200, 300 pages where nothing happens. I thought, oh, like, you know, 40, I don't know, 47 pages, really not a lot. I don't have many expectations and I had very low expectations and I still find this terrible, so. Then we had Belladonna. This is my first DNF of the year. And I'm upset that I DNF it because this is absolutely stunning. But to be quite honest, I'm just going to read you exactly what I wrote down at the time because I can remember finding it boring and obvious, but that's all I can really remember. So this is exactly what I wrote down at the time. I'm upset this with the DNF because it's so stunning. But it was boring as hell. I read spoilers once DNF'd and it sounds just as boring, predictable and irritating as the start. The main character was insufferable and I had already guessed a lot of the reveals. Still can't see this having been more than two stars max if I would have continued. So yeah, there you go. And I do remember, like, a character was introduced and, like, based on the context, I was like, oh, this character is definitely going to be this thing. Apparently it was a big reveal towards the end. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I, um, I, I didn't like the writing style either, to be honest. But yeah, that, that's gone. It's gone. It's going. Then another DNF. I eventually decided to DNF selected poems of Robert Herrick. Basically, I'm not going to worry about picking up any more poetry collections from this sort of era. As I wrote down in my reading journal, yeah, no. I don't think I'll be picking up any poetry from this time period, especially not by men. The fucked up views and narratives that are trying to be pushed I don't care to read about and the lack of anything women are to them except a vagina and uterus for their use. Just no. Fuck off. Made it one third of the way in, not worth my time slash energy to continue so there is my delightful mini review okay then we have a dnf that leads to me getting rid of two more books as well so i dnf'd kingdom of the feared i will talk about this momentarily and even though i quite liked book one and really did like book two i'm going to get rid of them as well because i'm not going to complete this series and i'm not going to want an incomplete series on my shelves so i'm getting rid of books one and two which are kingdom of the wicked and kingdom of the cursed because i dnf book three and will never finish the series so those two are going 
let's talk about book three. I, I was shocked that I didn't like this. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if my reading's changed. I don't know if what I like has changed. I'm really, really confused. I really don't know what's happened here. I gave book two in the series 4.5 stars, but reading this was actually painful. It was so cringy, and honestly, the writing was just bad. I started with the audiobook and thought maybe it was just the narrator, but I tried reading physically too and kept putting it down every one to two pages due to how much I was not enjoying it. The writing felt cringe, the characters felt dull, it did nothing interesting. DNF'd at 23.4%. And yeah, like I, I don't remember these books well enough to tell you what the writing was like and how we followed the characters, but I can remember really enjoying following our main character and finding the story interesting, and this one wasn't, so gotta go. Then at one point in one of the months, I don't actually know when it was, I should probably find it in my reading journal so I can tell you exactly what I thought. Ah, here we go. So I ended up giving it two stars. Uh, this is Freak of Nature by Judy O'Crane. I don't think I'll continue on with this series and if I do I'd read it on my Kindle anyway because it turned out I still owned book one on my Kindle from when I read it when I was about 12 uh, which honestly reading this now is a bit concerning but also book three is no longer in print so I'd have to get it on Kindle if I wanted to finish the series anyway but I really don't think I am. I gave it two stars. I... <sighs> It wasn't terrible, it wasn't bad, but it was very of its time. And we essentially follow a character who is always described as being this younger person, this young looking person. And then we have like, occasionally we have a second perspective from this man who works at this place where this character is, who has these feelings for and everything. And because we are looking at it from the main character's point of view, from, what, what's her name? Caitlin's point of view. Like, we know that she's capable of making her own decisions and deciding, like, what she wants and if she wants to do things, if she doesn't want to do things, whatever. Like, if she's actually interested in, if she isn't, whatever. But he does not see her like that. He does not see her as being capable of making those decisions, yet does not stop his uh, pursuit. I didn't like it. I did not like it. I would hope that, you know, conversations were had in book two and it is widely acknowledged that she is capable, but that did not happen in book one and I just couldn't, so yeah, bye. Okay, and then the last three books I've actually DNF within the last week. You will see a reading vlog coming in two to three weeks time, somewhere around there. I'm still finishing the final book for it, so two to three weeks should be good. And all three of these books came up in it and I did not like them. So, Garments Against Women. I thought this was going to be good. Even from the start, I started tabbing it up and then did not tab any further. I didn't like it. I didn't like how it was written and my very basics is in one paragraph I could feel like the author had never seen a thesaurus before and was only using one with no other knowledge. This is also written in a way that was trying to sound more clever than it is. And yeah, I, I agree with what I wrote. The, there were words in every paragraph that were repeated and repeated and repeated but also there'd be so many words that meant the same thing that were just like the random longer words that were very clearly there to say and clever and I just I couldn't deal with it I really couldn't I don't know even if I got to a point where the point of the book was obvious but I didn't like it I'm not going to read it I'm not going to spend my time reading it when I'm not going to enjoy it so that's got to go we've got the lamp lighters now every time I pick up historical fiction I know there is a very high chance I'm not going to like it. I know that. I only buy them secondhand because of that reason. But there is the odd historical fiction that I do like. This is not one of them. I just couldn't care about this at all. It's based on a real event and reading non-fiction about that could be cool. But this fictional take just wasn't for me. Also, with a lot of historical fiction, I just don't want to read about misogyny and sexism. It was from every angle. I didn't get very far into it. In fact, I've still got my little thing. I don't know, I got further than that. I was reading it via the audiobook. My library had the audiobook. But I'm not sure where I got to, but it really wasn't very far in. It was less than a quarter of the way in. But yeah, no. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't care. Like, even now, thinking about it, I'm like, let's just get rid of it. I do not care. And then last but not least is How to Kill Your Family. I was really excited about this when I brought it. And then I have slowly over time heard more conflicting reviews of it. And when I chose to give it a go and chose to try and read it i was aware that based on what i'd heard since buying it especially in like the last year i probably wasn't gonna love it there was absolutely nothing i i was liking about this book the main character was horrible but not in a fun reading from a immoral character sort of way as the character was just so two-dimensional it was bad 
boring and moaning. It then did another scene of a HP reference, all this with illogical reasoning for killing. I have no interest in reading any more of this book. Don't get rid of it. Those are all the books I'm getting rid of. I will any that are in really good condition because like some of these are basically new. I've read a few pages of like they're as, as good as new. I will put up on Vinted and the rest of them I will take to the charity shop. So yeah that's that. That's it for me. That is all of the books that I am unhauling from the first four months of 2024. I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. I will have a book haul coming within the next week where I will show you all the books that I've purchased and brought in in 2024. It's more than all this so you know we, we still need to reduce the shelves but we're getting there, we are getting there. Um, and yeah I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content like this and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!